Denise's housing assistance was previously terminated when she did not recertify her household income and composition. Denise opens a letter from the PHA. Now her new application for a housing voucher has been denied. Denise meets with a PHA appeals officer to appeal the decision. Thank you for seeing me today. Uh, no problem, Denise. I'm glad I could help you out. I'm here to appeal the rejection I got when I applied for a housing voucher last month. Yeah, I saw that, but I also saw that you lost your voucher because you did not recertify your income when it was due. That's what I wanted to explain. You see, my niece, who's only six, had emergency surgery and was in the hospital for two weeks, and my sister was with her all the time and needed me to take care of her other kids. And my... Marcus fondles her knee. You lost your voucher because you did not recertify. I just forgot all about it. Well. You know, I think we could fix this problem real quick. I can do nice things for pretty girls. You take care of me. Marcus moves closer. And uh, I take care of you. Come on. Get on your knees. And show me how much you want your vouch. Are you crazy? <laughs> Come on. I'm leaving. <sighs> The appeals officer denies the voucher application. Denise calls the PHA supervisor and reports trouble with Marcus, but with few details. This appeals officer is totally disgusting. You are his supervisor. Please call me and tell me what to do. She leaves a message, but not her name. She does not get a return call. Denise next calls a PHA commissioner to report what happened but again does not want to leave her name and details on her message. It's been several days and I've heard nothing from his supervisor, so I'm calling you. My number is 555-149-7078. Somebody's got to stop this guy now. The PHA investigates and determines that Marcus sexually harassed Denise. The PHA also learns that Marcus harassed not only Denise, but several days later harassed two other women, both of whom have now filed sexual harassment complaints against the PHA. Marcus is terminated. And Denise? Denise, I am sincerely sorry that Marcus did this to you. I want you to know he has been fired, and the PHA is making every effort to prevent this kind of harassment from happening in the future. The PHA commissioner meets with Denise and assures her the PHA is taking steps to prevent harassment from occurring again. Right now, the PHA is setting anti-harassment policies and codes of conduct for all of its employees. In addition, all staff are required to participate in fair housing training, and all applicants and tenants will receive copies of our anti-harassment policies. That's good. The sexual harassment complaints against the PHA filed by Denise and the other two women are still pending and may result in large monetary losses to the PHA. In the meantime, Denise receives a new voucher for a new apartment. Denise stands on her balcony and smiles. <laughs>